Okay, welcome to Sunday. I guess. Alrighty. We're going to try something. And that thing is to not eat at one o'clock in the morning again. We're going to go to a flea market. Maybe. Let's see. What happens? Uh, uh. Newer car. Ah, huh, still smells new in here. Hmm. But let's check it out. RV, goodbye for now. Um, let's get going. Alright, so there's two entrances. One's up here and one's down below. Which one should we go? Um, that sign says flea market and it has an arrow going right there. So I think that's the one we're going to go to, Georgia's biggest flea market. Alright. Private parking. It's funny, it's like they sell those signs on Amazon or something, the no parking, no overnight parking. I guess people probably do take advantage of um, flea markets. I mean, look at that. Perfect camping spots. Hmm. It's very pretty back here. <laughs> Starting to get a little crazy. People are just parking wherever. The road is pretty awful. There's a little pond. Why do they even have a fountain? Oh look, there's the uh, little restaurant area. Alright, and the stalls. One way. Uh, uh, park. Alright. Flea market. It's kind of weird. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Well, it's kind of hard to film. Interesting stuff. Uh, here are chickens. Let's go uh, check those out. Okay. It's pretty busy. It's interesting people. But uh, the next tools or anything I need, I'm definitely going to come here. Is this car waiting on me? I, I, I don't know what to do. I found the animals. Chickens. Chicken boys. Yeah. There's me. We got some Lucy boys. Hello, Lucy boy. There's a cagey boy. No. Let's go over here. It's getting kind of busy. Look, he's selling chairs. The deer thing. Let's go take a look. Ow, my uh, armpit hurts from where the tick was. People are packing up. Packing up their stuff. Oh, there are the coolers she was talking about. Yesterday, my friend, me and Miko. Kind of cool. Bells. 
system. Holy cow. <laughs> and here we are. We did a loop. That's probably like only 10% of this place. It's the livestock and now where have we just went? Interesting people. I think you do want to come early though. You can see everything. And bring cash. I did not. Well. Yeah, definitely need to bring cash next time. So I would like to try out that food. Because it smells great. The grills make me sad because somebody probably got those as a present. And uh, now they're being sold. Um, the girl over there with the, the dreads and the tie-dye and the dirt on her makes me sad because she was somebody's uh, child at some point. But Philip, why don't you worry you about yourself? Maybe she's happy. Well... You know, that's something I struggle with. So way over there are more stalls. Like this. It's actually an indoor section. Oh, it's right there. Am I blind? Let's go uh, and check it out. I forget my sunglasses. You got your own chair like that. There's a cool video game place back there. But so weird recording. Isn't that? It's a little bit more dead on this side. Well, there's a couple more of those buildings. I'll peek in, but I think I'm. Uh, there's more up there. Oh no, this place is too big. I kind of am a little spent, also since I can't buy anything. It makes it worse. All right, oh, that's the ice cream place over there. I think. There's me again. There's the office. Yeah, you could spend a lot of time. The honeybee building. Oh, counterfeit merchandise is strictly prohibited. Huh. Uh, somebody's looking at me being nice. Okay, just walk. Oh, look, lights and FX. An ATM. Oh my god. I feel really good there. I found. This is the entrance that I am familiar with. They actually have a like an off-road vehicle store. Oh look, it's dogs. Go dogs! <laughs> and they do financing and everything there. It's kind of weird. Guess you probably get a good deal. Better than a regular dealer? I don't know. There's uh oh there's produce down there. And plants, horticulture, vendor, parking, only. It's a lot more quiet back here. Lots of these people know each other. It's like, hey, I'm here to see Brenda. Oh, she went to West Virginia for two weeks. Or is that a Pathfinder? It's AJ. So, oh, it's a brand new car. Tony uh, got it from Meadow's friend's dad. It was a gambling 
debt repayment or something, right? Is that an Xterra Pathfinder? Oh my god. Anyway. This makes me so happy to see the flattened, dead, sweet gum falls. Yeah, right, well not the best footage, I don't think. <clears throat> you get an idea of some of it. Oh, here's a pup. Hey, puppy. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna go back by the sad dreadlock girl and uh, head home. Keep passing the vending machines and it's making me thirsty. I'm gonna pour a nice little ice beverage. Should be pretty good. Right. It's kind of like the blue tarps or the. Oh, there's the dreadlock girl. Oh no, she's smiling. It's kind of like uh, uh, sheets draped over dead bodies. Where are these people? Did they leave their merchandise here? I don't know. All right, back in the car. Oh. It's warmed up though, and that water's looking mighty refreshing. Uh, uh. Wonder why they put that there. Yeah, oh, jeez. We. There's the uh, tower. I'm not sure. Doesn't look like a cell phone tower, but well, that was fun. Got a lot of ideas of things I can buy and that type of thing. All right, and we're essentially back. So, um, I don't know. The next you'll see me is uh, getting hit by this train. Nope. <sighs> it wasn't my time. Here we are. Another day, another neighbor. Chainsaw, you know, I don't mind. At least he's doing something. There's Logan. Anyway, a uh, friendly neighbor over there just let me know uh, they cut down that tree and it um, dug a little hole in the yard. And he wanted me to uh, let the homeowner know. So I will. You know what is a great audio book is The Stand, Stephen King. The guy that is Franny's dad. Isn't that her name, Franny? The dad? Oh, Franny. He's like in his workshop. Wow, what a great book. Took me a long time to get through it. No, well, as you can see, it's Sunday, and RV's not packed up, so I guess I'm not going anywhere. And you know what? I might just take the RV to a truck stop for a night or two. A generator, boy, it got me. Guess I can try to find a used one. All right. Well, I'm gonna shut up now.